Good evening, and I'm so excited to get into God's Word with you this evening and to talk about how Jesus makes the ordinary extraordinary. That's right, we're going to talk about how the extraordinary God came to earth as an ordinary person, yet He did extraordinary things while He was here. And He wants to do the same thing with you. So you may think that you're just an ordinary person, but when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you have an extraordinary capability within you to, to complete the impossible things, or what we think would be impossible. With this small group lesson that will be attached below, I want you to study through the scripture that we're getting ready to get into. It comes out of John chapter 6, verses 1 through 13. If I could read this for you, it's, After this, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a large crowd was following him, because they saw the signs that he was doing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with the disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was at hand. Lifting up his eyes then, and seeing that a large crowd was coming towards him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test him, for himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread would not be enough for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they for so many? Jesus said, Have the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down, about five thousand in number. Jesus then took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish, as much as they wanted. And when they had eaten their fill, he told the disciples, Gather up the leftover fragments, that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up and filled twelve baskets with the fragments from the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten. You know, we see here a story that we learn from when we are little kids, if you're raised in the church, about how Jesus feeds the 5,000. And it's such an extraordinary thing because he takes such little food and yet makes so much for so many people. And it's really amazing to see because it, it mentions 5,000 men, but with them would have been their families. This could have easily been 20,000 people Jesus was feeding with so little food. See, it's amazing things like that, that that happen in our lives where we think it's impossible, yet Jesus has something extraordinary that he wants to do with you. You know, I want you to ask yourself, you know, have you ever been faced with an impossible task? And how did you react to that impossible task or seemingly impossible task? A lot of us either get depressed or down, or we struggle with it, we fight against it. Some of us get very energetic about it and we push on and we push on and we push on and we know, we know that we can do it and we keep trying and we keep trying. But either way, either way, something seems impossible to us. And it's a miracle like we see in John chapter 6. It's a miracle that we see that Jesus performs this mighty work from, from these ordinary foods to extraordinary feeding of these people. And Jesus wants to do the same thing with our lives. He's wanting to do the same thing with your life. That you may seem and feel so ordinary, there's something inside of you that says something totally different. That you're not just ordinary. That through the power of the Spirit, you are now extraordinary. And that's a message of hope to people who do not know Christ. In this time of fear, what may seem like an impossible thing to get out of, it seems like with this coronavirus that's just ramping up everywhere, that everybody is going to get it. But even in the midst of all this fear, even if everybody does get it, there's something extraordinary that Jesus can do through this, and He may be wanting to use you through this time of fear that you would show your faith, that you would show how strong and how solid it is that you're standing on God, and that you would share that hope with somebody, that you would share the hope of being extraordinary. 
that you would share the hope of being made extraordinary through the power of Jesus Christ. You see, we're not brought into this world to be ordinary people with ordinary tasks. We're brought into this world to have an extraordinary task at hand that seems impossible, but it's not. See, we're to go and tell others about Jesus Christ. And I know it's hard for us to, to share that news sometimes with the persecution and being ridiculed and everything else. Or maybe it's our lives. Maybe it's our lives that make it hard to share the gospel. Have you ever stopped to think about you talk about these extraordinary things that Jesus does, that God does through us, yet our lives live out an ordinary life. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever stopped to think that, you know, maybe it's so hard to share our faith because we don't live it out. We say it's so awesome, it's so extraordinary, yet we live like ordinary people following an ordinary pattern in an ordinary world. Guys, it's time to take this extraordinary thing serious. See, it's really extraordinary that God would step out of heaven as Jesus Christ, as an ordinary person, to take on the sins that we deserve so that you can have an extraordinary life in heaven with God forever. That's not just for you. It's not a secret for the Christian people to keep within a church building. No, it's for you to go and share that good news, but you also have to live it out. I think that's why it's hard to share that extraordinary peace of mind that we have in Jesus sometimes, because our life doesn't match up with what our words say about God. Today, I wanna to challenge you to work through the small group lesson that's attached to this video. And as you work through this small group lesson, I want to challenge you that you would live a life of extraordinary purposes. I know it can be difficult at times. I find it difficult at times in my life as well. But take that challenge seriously, to live a life that shows the extraordinary of Jesus Christ, of what He's done by stepping out of heaven, by stepping on the earth, by going to that cross, and dying for our sins, but then being raised on the third day, showing and proving that He is God, proving that He took our sins to the cross, that they're paid for, that we don't have to face the wrath of God. Mm, such an amazing thing. I pray that you would pray for extraordinary things in your own life. Could you imagine what it would be like if we lived out this life every single day? What kind of changes would be happening in the world if we lived out this mindset every single day? So would you take some time this afternoon for you and your friends or you and your family or whoever to work through this small group lesson that, that goes along with this video and the scripture? Guys, I can't wait to meet back in person with all of you again. But until then, I love you guys and I'll see you next time.